G'day, quite a few people have been asking me how good the uh, Gear S3 is at measuring your heart rate. So I'm going to do a comparison and compare it to the uh, in-body band here which uses uh, ECG or echocardiogram technology. Uh, I'm also going to do the old-fashioned method of uh, taking my pulse with my hand and compare the three and see how good the Gear S3 actually is at measuring your heart rate. So let's get to it and do a workout. Cheers! Okay, so I went for a jog down to the uh, local park where I do a workout with uh, my exercise group on Saturday mornings. Went through quite a few exercises, did some uh, bent over rows upside down here and each time I did some exercise I checked my uh, heart rate with both the uh, Gear S3 and the uh, in body band here. And again the in body band uses the echocardiogram technology. So we've got 132 beats per minute there on the Gear S3 and 132 beats per minute on the in body band. So that's you know, spot on together there. I did some more exercise. Did some uh, box jumps here. So we get my heart rate up. And I uh, measured the heart rate again. So I really like the way the Gear S3 sort of shows the, uh, the plot on there. Well, that was pretty quick. It's not always that quick. We've got 132 and 132 again there so both spot on did some more uh, chin ups to get the heart rate up and kept measuring so we've got 153 versus 158 and another time 142 versus 137 another good thing about the uh, gear s3 here is that if you use one of the apps like the walking or running you can actually log your heart rate over time for your whole workout duration so it shows that uh, plot there Shows the average speed, max heart rate, your vigorous, uh, your intensity zone. I also went and tried to uh, get some resting heart rates to see how accurate they were at the lower end of the scale. Took a bit longer for the Gear S3 here. We've got uh, 67 for the in-body band and 65, so again, very similar. And I thought we'd test it with the old-fashioned method, use the uh, timer on my phone there to count for 15 seconds and then the calculator to calculate what the heart rate was. So we got 64 beats per minute measuring my wrist and the, uh, the Gear S3 had, uh, what did I have here, 65. So again, almost pretty much exactly the same. And I thought I'd do some exercise and try and push the heart rate up and test the old-fashioned method as well. So the Gear S3 has got 131 beats per minute and the, uh, the old hand on the wrist method gets 132, so very good. Then I went back to really pushing the heart rate, see if we could get some uh, higher numbers here. Did a nice long sprint there and uh, tried to get a heart rate with both the in-body band and the uh, Gear S3. So you can see the Gear S3 was struggling here to um, pick up the signal, the in-body bands picked it up at 166 beats per minute so that was a pretty high heart rate for me and the uh, Gear S3 is still struggling, it looks like it's getting a signal there at the end but it gave up and asked me to clean it um, so I thought give it another go, I gave it another go that day uh, same result, gave it another go another day and uh, this is the result that time So hopefully we'll get a result, fingers crossed. We've got 153 beats per minute on the in-body band. Mm, are we going to get something with the gear S3? Mm, it's not looking great. Oh, it's starting to pick up. Uh, what are we going to get? We're going to get something? No, it's telling me to clean the signal. So let's have a look at the other data that the two devices have recorded. We've got 4,053 steps on the in-body band and 4,937 on the Gear S3, although I'd done an extra 400 before I put the in-body band on, uh, but the S3 is still uh, measuring more steps there. The kilocalories are way out. We've got 169 kilocalories on the in-body band and 805 on the uh, S3, uh, maybe because the S3 is also measuring heart rate, taking that into account. We've got 2.8 kilometers on the in-body band versus 3.42 kilometers on the uh, Gear S3. So again, the Gear S3 is measuring 
a bit of a longer distance there. All up, looks like the Gear S3 is actually pretty accurate at measuring your heart rate when it can actually measure it, but sometimes quite annoyingly, it basically says clean the sensor, but the sensor is perfectly clean. So it can be a bit annoying, but um, when it does give you a result, it's pretty accurate. I uh, hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, cheers.